there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking J-Lo. Uh, but guys, we have an announcement, you guys, and that is J-Lo has announced uh, earlier Friday afternoon that she is canceling her this is me now tour this is me live tour you boys uh and it is because of the ben affleck divorce rumors it is because uh you know she is not producing what she used to you guys and there is no money to be made off of j-lo anymore and i find this convenient the timing is so convenient at the height of the divorce rumors with ben affleck as well as the height of diddy being done in this industry you guys so let's talk about it so this is on tmz however this is everywhere and it's just a sad state of affairs remember just four years ago j-lo was co-headlining the super bowl with shakira remember j-lo was getting actual oscar buzz for her role in hustlers and now all of the doors you guys are slamming right in her face you guys everything i have never seen a fall uh this quickly and this soon by somebody who is getting a-list treatment for mediocre talent you guys can you make it make sense right but finally uh i think people have woken up from the cloud they have woken up from the abyss and it is time to you know put the money where the mouth is i mean this was a 20 million dollar project you guys j-lo spent 20 million dollars of her own money it's the audacity for me on this documentary on the multiple documentaries uh this tour uh that she thought people were interested in she thought people were interested in a new album from her that is nowhere to be found on the chart that exited the charts as quickly as it entered uh nobody's interested in the new version of benifer uh 20 years too late we do not care ben told you 20 years ago what it was and he did not want to marry you but you and your mom were so desperate from this boston man you you wanted him so bad and now that you got him and he still doesn't want you. Make it make sense. So let's get into this TMZ article. It says, J-Lo cancels summer tour amid Ben Affleck drama. Uh, Jennifer Lopez will not be hitting the road this summer after all. As the singer is canceling her planned tour outright, even before it starts, TMZ has learned. A rep for Live Nation tells us Jen's This Is Me live tour, which was supposed to get underway in June and hit a bunch of North American venues uh, through August, is getting completely scrapped. The reason we are told is J-Lo is, quote, taking time off to be with her children, family, and close friends. Jen herself also addressed the cancellation, hoping on her site, hopping on her site on the J-Lo <laughs> <laughs> to say i am completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down please know i wouldn't do this if i didn't feel that it was absolutely necessary she adds i promise we'll make it up to you and we will all be together again is she shouting out janet jackson together again i uh, i love you all so much until next time no other official explanation was provided but we have a bit more insight while there were rumblings of weak ticket sales earlier this month sources with direct knowledge tell tmz this was not a factor in the decision as the tour was even seeing an uptick in ticket sales in key cities well that's because the prices went down right i believe uh tennessee and texas and miami were some of the top selling uh venues we are told this was a very difficult decision for j-lo and like she expressed in her note she is bummed of course there's other stuff going on in jen's life right now that could possibly be pertinent to this which seems to be reflected in the official reasoning jennifer and her husband ben affleck have been faced public scrutiny over their marriage the couple has sent several mixed messages about the state of their relationship uh there's no mixed messages from ben affleck he has shown every much uh whenever he's in public with j-lo or otherwise that he wants nothing to do with her that he is over this this was supposed to just be a continued sneaky link at best but this was not supposed to be anything public but j-lo dragged him literally to vegas uh and before he quickly changed his mind to make this official and j-lo is suffering 
all of the consequences, you guys. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, the mixed messages about the state of their relationship, stepping out a number of times together despite currently living apart. Uh, Live Nation says fans who purchase tickets through Ticketmaster will automatically be refunded. However, if you bought a ticket through a third-party reseller, such as SeatGeek, StubHub, Vivid Seats, etc., you are encouraged to reach out to them directly for more details. Remember, Ben started staying at a Brentwood home earlier this spring with Jennifer residing in their Beverly Hills abode, which they scooped up for $60 million just last year. Neither Ben or Jen have addressed the situation publicly, but this tour nixing is either good news or bad news for them. Hard to interpret it, really. Either way, no Jen on tour for now. So, so this is unlike J-Lo. And this is unlike uh, Leo behavior because Leo behavior is very much confident and it's about the money and it's about success and all of the things. And JLo is literally throwing it all away for Ben Affleck, you guys, who can care less who was completely disheveled and out of sorts uh, at the end of his marriage to his last wife, Jennifer Gardner. And J-Lo thought that she could, you know, rebrand and make over uh, Ben Affleck again with the spray tan and, and the custom suits and, and to look like glam like they did back in the early 2000s. And it worked for like five minutes until Ben Affleck couldn't fake it anymore. Until Ben Affleck told J-Lo, I am sick of us being in the press. I am sick of my personal life being tabloid fodder. This is not who I am. J-Lo instead continues to push the false narrative that this is some great love story uh, 20 years in the making when it is nothing but disaster. It has been nothing but bad things happening ever since this reunion, this um, reuniting of, of J-Lo and Ben Affleck, you guys. It is not giving what J-Lo thought it was going to give, you guys. And J-Lo is desperately trying to salvage what is left of this, except for she doesn't realize that Ben Affleck is already checked out and has been checked out and is just wanting to announce whatever anytime soon. But a divorce announcement is going to happen, you guys. And like I said in a previous video, I will be shocked if it is not announced at the by the end of this year. Because it seems that J-Lo refuses to accept that it is over between her and Ben Affleck. J-Lo seems to refuse to accept that whatever conditions were in play uh, for them to have, you know, at least a temporary happy life together, J-Lo was in violation of. And ever since J-Lo was in violation, Ben Affleck has been planning his exit strategy. Except for J-Lo still wants to convince you and the people that this is something worth salvaging. But as for the canceled tour, you guys, when she, we did the videos early on about canceling the, you know, six or seven different dates at random um, that were not selling, uh, that provided no explanation. Even J-Lo's team tried to put out a lie, like I said, that she canceled these dates because it was in line with her. She was in line to start in a Jurassic Park remake that I believe went to Scarlett Johansson. J-Lo was never even in the running for, but she was trying to make it seem like she was booked and busy and she was too booked uh, to perform at a scheduled tour. Make it make sense. And then there had been rumors uh, in a previous video that I just did a couple days ago about Vegas scrapping another J-Lo re residency. Remember, she had a successful residency. I believe it was in 2016 to 2018. And she was slated to uh, negotiate making around a million dollars a show. And it was supposed to be a long-term contract that was worth $90 million starting in 2025 that still is in negotiations because of the poor ticket sales for this tour and remember this tour originally was supposed to celebrate the album that is not on the charts anymore and then it got rebranded to a greatest hits tour you guys but even with that it still couldn't move the needle perhaps j-lo should have said listen ashanti and ja rule are going to perform all the songs that they wrote for me and maybe you would have seen a tick in the sales. I don't know why JLo has not done what Christina Aguilera has done, and that is move into the Latin market and put out Latin music because pop music, hip hop, R&B in 2024 from JLo, nobody cares about. 
nobody is listening to, nobody is streaming, nobody is purchasing on iTunes and all of the things, right? You may get one or two decent songs off of a new JLo album. The rest is trash, you guys. And that is what the audience is telling the people. But make it make sense as to all of these people, all, everybody, everybody and their mama, everybody and their daddy is literally going on tour this summer, you guys. And J-Lo couldn't cut it. But again, there were a few dates that actually were selling, right? So, so let's just keep that in mind. But it was delusional to think that J-Lo could do an entire North American tour and expect audiences that were, you know, at the level of seeing a Janet Jackson. Can you make it make sense as to how she thought she was going to sell out an arena tour and having the audacity to charge outrageous prices for a meet and greet when you are Jennifer Lopez? Can you make it make sense? And the audacity to have a higher Las Vegas residency than the GOAT Mariah Carey? who actually has hits, who actually has a discography, who actually has good music, who actually has talent, who actually can sing, who actually writes their own music, who actually is providing real generational wealth to their children and is not exploiting their children. Make it make sense, you guys. But again, JLo has nothing to blame for herself because this is what happens when arrogance gets the best of you. This is what happens when you are living in a bubble, when you are living in a fairy tale in your own mind, and nobody else is buying what you're selling. Even the man that you forced to marry you this time is not buying what you're selling. And you, this is not like you, to throw it all away for a man, um, which is quite the contrary of what happened with Diddy. Um, instead, you threw Diddy away when he was dealing with his legal issues, right? Uh, at the height of his issues. You you decided, thanks but no thanks, I am out of here, right? Uh, but that is not the same energy when it's bad news for you. Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to risk it all, risk what's left of your career, and throw it all away, cancel everything to desperately salvage whatever is left of you and Benefer. But nobody cares. They don't. And it's better now for JLo to accept it and prepare the kids for another divorce than it is to be trotting around still trying to deny these rumors. But everything, the cancellation of the tour dates, the ultimate rebranding of the tour uh, to a greatest hit show, and then ultimately canceling the tour altogether, the documentaries based off of this love story that nobody cares about with uh, Ben Affleck. Again, when you did the album before, This Is Me Then, that also was another love letter to Ben Affleck The people didn't care. Literally, my relative gave me the album for free at the time. Gave me the CD for free. Because that's how much she thought the album sucked, you guys. So, again, J-Lo, wake up. You had a golden opportunity, right? To simply, uh, the smart thing would have been to just renegotiate your Vegas residency, right? And have a long-term deal like all of these other celebrities have with their Vegas residencies. So you were guaranteed shows every single year in Las Vegas and you were making great money off of this Vegas residency and you could have did it in between your acting projects because that's actually your strength if we're keeping it a buck. Your strength, um, although not much more than music, but your strength actually is acting, right? Because you have put on one heck of a performance uh, in, in desperation to make people believe that you and Ben Affleck are something. Except for Ben Affleck did not want any of this, right? But that's your strong suit. It is selling a fantasy. Selling make-believe to the people. But nonetheless, the people do not want to purchase the make-believe anymore because they see the real. They see who you really are and it doesn't help matters that people are exposing you of how mean and how unprofessional you are. And how inappropriate you are. Everyone is coming for you. And again, despite being on Saturday Night Live, despite all of these opportunities, these A-list opportunities, doors still are finally saying, you know what, J-Lo, you had a nice run. 
but it is time to pack it up. It is time to hang it up flat screen. We do not care anymore. But instead, JLo's like, no, 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 no. I am going to try to drag this out as long as I can. I am going to prove to you that I am Queen B and all of these things and nobody is buying it and nobody is selling it and nobody is even entertaining it at this point anymore. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.